Hi, it's David from Life with Parkinson's. If you're new here, welcome. We hope you'll consider subscribing. And also feel free to check out our website at lifewithparkinsons.ca for more information about this channel and our sponsors. For everybody else, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back and watching another episode. I love making these videos and connecting with each and every one of you. So thank you for making me part of your lives and your Parkinson's journey. Over the last few weeks, I've had a lot of questions about how the Parkinson's gloves are affecting my health. And today, I'm going to give you those answers. But I just wanted to touch on one thing here. I can't make them and sell them to you. I just don't have the capacity to do that. In the description below, there are two important links that I hope you will check out. One is a presentation by Dr. Tass talking about the vibration gloves and comparing them to deep brain stimulation. I learned a lot of things in that presentation. And the other one is the Today Show news report about almost about a year ago about the gloves. I will also include a link in the description below to the YouTube channel where you can get all the information you need to get a set of your own made as well. What? No more rescue medication. What the heck am I going to do? What we have found the last few years is that in British Columbia with Parkinson's disease, you really need to be your own advocate for your health. So if you're needing something else or you're needing another treatment other than deep brain stimulation, there really are no other options. When I was in a desperate state, and this is before I found the glove technology, I remember sitting in my movement disorder specialist office actually crying because the peaks and valleys that the L-dopa, like the levodopa, carbidopa created, were so extreme that four or five times a day in between medication doses, the valleys would be so low that all I could really do was lie down on the couch. And I was just, I was like, I've got to leave here with something. And that was when he prescribed me apomorphine, a powerful dopamine agonist that I found out was one of the oldest forms of Parkinson's medications out there. About a year after I started taking it, it was discontinued. I was, what the heck? And then I became desperate again. And then a viewer suggested I look at the YouTube channel that had all the instructions on how to make my own gloves. It was just the fact that I was so desperate to find anything, anything that all that would help to carry me through those peaks and valleys and level them off. The apple morphine did a good job, but it also came with a lot of side effects. And so it was frustrating when we created the first set of gloves because they didn't work at all. And we were breaking wires off the motor so constantly from putting them on and off that we moved, moved up to version two, but it still had the same problem. And then I realized I downloaded the wrong software <laughs> into the board. So when version three finally hit, it was like, oh my goodness, I think this is going to work. That dramatic off time, or traumatic off time, as someone pointed out last week, it was out of dire necessity that we needed to find something. Okay, so this is a real issue for me because once I had the glove, a working prototype at least, it's like, what do I do? Because there's no guide out there. There's no like book you can order or PDF you can download. All I could glean from the Stanford videos were that you would put them on two hours twice per day. So for me, that's two hours in the morning and then two hours before bedtime. And other than that, <laughs> it's not like I can ask my doctors because when I mentioned it to them, they didn't even know about the technology. Are there any side effects? Is it dangerous? Can you overdose? Are there medications you can't take when you're doing this type of therapy? These are all the questions that I've been working through on my own just by experimenting with the glove. And so since I can't give you any direct advice, I'm just going to say what applies to me because I don't know your personal situations and I'm not a doctor. I'm not an expert in this technology. So if you're not familiar with the gloves or you've just, you're working on a pair now, I got to tell you, Two hours twice per day is a lot of rack time. Like the glove system I have is not very portable. And I find it difficult to walk around the house when I'm getting the therapy. 
because it, it's so, for me anyhow, it feels so overwhelming to my brain and my nervous system that I just got to sit down and close my eyes. Like it's just so powerful. So on average for me to get into an on state, it takes about 95 minutes. But then I've got to push through the next 25 to get the standard dose. And that last 25 minutes can be overwhelming because the gloves almost produce on their own L-dopa symptoms, like levodopa, carbidopa, side effects. Like the gloves give me dyskinesia sometimes. I'll get nauseous. I'll get dizzy. Yes, I have found that I can overdose. One time I went for two and a half hours and the gloves kind of put me in like a euphoric off state where I felt really, really good, but I couldn't move. So I found that if I go over that two-hour threshold, it's too much. Like the first pro I've discovered is it's not going to cost a ton of money to get going. And I recommend making two sets because when one goes down, so if you have a backup, at least you can get the other one repaired. I've discovered on my own that if I don't do my therapy at the time my body is used to, my brain gets very upset. Then the other pro was that when we built version three, it worked right away. Like I felt something that first night. So that was the confirmation that everything was going as it should. And the cons to this Parkinson's vibration glove system are that <laughs> you got to build them yourself. So there's no warranty. You're basically on your own. Like I said earlier, it's a do-it-yourself system. And you've got to do your own research and decide if it's right for you or not. The other con, if it's not built properly, like you'll be constantly doing repairs. So you got to make sure that the wire connections are good. And of course, the last con is that there's not much guidance available. Like, how do, how do I know what works for me is going to work for you? You know, we're all different. We have different Parkinson's systems. Like, you're just going to have to figure it out. Unfortunately, there's no guidebook. But that is a definite con. Okay, here's the part that you've been waiting for. What have I noticed after 10 weeks? approximately 10 weeks on the vibration gloves. Okay, and I don't want to get anybody overexcited. This is not a cure. The Parkinson's disease is still there. I still get off times. I freeze every day. I have near falls every day. I still have anxiety. The gloves are helping, but the Parkinson's is still there. So don't think that this is a quick fix for all your problems. Let's be realistic. Okay, so first thing. After 10 weeks, my on time is up about two hours per day. I don't need a nap anymore to take me through the day. For me, that's astounding. My peaks and valleys between my L-DOBA doses have leveled out fairly well. I can concentrate a lot better. I can actually read a book. I haven't read a book for a couple of years because I just can't concentrate on it. I have more energy. I want to go out and do things. I just don't want to sit at home alone. I'm I've got the urge to go out and, and meet new people. Come on, you guys know what it's like to have Parkinson's. You're just like, why can't I go out and meet people? I, I still want to go to the restaurant and have lunch. For the bathroom talk, this is incredible. My bowel movements are like one to two times per day. It's like, I got to go again? Here's a funny one. When's the last time you felt thirsty or hungry? Like, I had forgotten what that feeling is like, but now my body tells me, hey, take a drink of water. Hey, we need some food. It's like I can sense those things again. And the last big change is a big one for me. I can st I'm can, i starting to smell again. Not all the time, but when I'm cooking, I can be like, that smells good. Or I'm sitting on the couch and Haley's making something. I'm like, I think I can smell that. So after 10 weeks, these are the things I'm starting to notice. What does my treatment plan look like now? Well, basically, I've coupled the gloves with the red light therapy. So in the morning, I'll do my 10 minutes of red light therapy. But I'm not able to do the 10 minutes of red light therapy in the evenings anymore because it's too much. With the gloves on top of the red light therapy in the afternoon, it's just, it causes like an overdose of my system and it's just too much. For me, red light therapy and the gloves have turned out to be a really good combination. Will it work for you? I don't know. Of course, my L-DOPA medication schedule has not changed very much. It's just one dose in the day. I chopped off half a pill. 
and my family doctor lets me adjust my medication to where I need it. How do I feel about the next 10 weeks? I, I don't know. Like, I know this seems weird, but every time I put the gloves on now, I'm always concerned if it's going to work or not. I'm kind of in that mindset. It's like, is this really happening to me? Like, am I making this up? Is it because of something else that I'm doing? So I'm kind of in a stage of disbelief right now. It just seems so unbelievable that this do-it-yourself project would actually work, would actually help with Parkinson's disease. You know, just putting vibrations on your fingertips. It's like, I don't know. I guess I'm just so accustomed to going to the doctors and getting a pill, going to the doctors and getting a surgery. After I finish this and I go to bed and I put my gloves on for the evening, I'm going to be sitting there going, is this going to work? Like I'm, I'm waiting for it to not work anymore. I don't want to create false expectations in other people. And that's what I'm really worried about. You know, I care about you guys. I, I want to give you the right information. But that's the point I'm making is, yes, I'm getting good results, but the Parkinson's is still there, right? The Parkinson's is still in the background. It's still working its magic. You know, will the gloves be able to stay ahead of the symptoms? I don't know. And that's what I want to reinforce with this video. Yes, I'm having good results, but I'm concerned about how long they're going to last. Thank you for taking this journey together. Thank you for watching and supporting this channel. Please leave a comment below and tell me what you think. If, you're, if you have your own gloves, please echo in the comments about what results you're having. I'm sure everyone would like to know if anyone is having the same results as me. I certainly would like to hear from you guys. Thank you. Have a good night. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good day. Goodbye.